Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 3 to the power of x is equal to 30. So, to solve this equation, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 3 to the power of x is equal to log of 30. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 3 is equal to log 30. Now that x is an actual term, I can solve for it by getting rid of this log 3. So I'm going to divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log 30 over log 3. Now, log 30, I'm going to rewrite that as log of 3 times 10. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 3 times 10 is equal to log 3 plus log 10. Now I have this over log 3. So now this is equal to log 3 over log 3 plus log 10 over log 3. Now log 3 and log 3, these two cancel out, so I get x equals 1 plus log 10 over log 3. And log 10 is 1, so I get x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 3. Now 1 over log 3 is equal to 2.096. So x is equal to 3.096. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 22 minus 1. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is rewrite this as 2 to the power of 11 times 2 minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 11 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 11 to the power of 2 minus 1. Now, 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 11 to the power of 2 minus 1 squared. Now the reason I did that and rewrote 1 as 1 squared is because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So just to clarify, a is 2 to the power of 11 and b is 1. So now I get 2 to the power of 11 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 11 minus 1. Now, what is 2 to the power of 11? Well, 2 to the power of 9 is 512. 2 to the power of 10 is going to be double of 2 to the power of 9, which is double of 512, which is 1,024. So 2 to the power of 11 is double of 1,024, which is 2,048. So now, I get 2048 plus 1 times
times 2048 minus 1. Now 2048 plus 1 is 2049, and 2048 minus 1 is 2047. So I get 2049 times 2047. And now, a simpler way of multiplying this, rather than the usual method of this way, this way takes way too long. So a much easier route is to rewrite this as 2,000 plus 49 times 2,000 plus 47. Now from here, I can simply distribute. So I have 2,000 times 2,000, which is 2,000 squared plus 2,000 times 47 plus 49 times 2,000 plus 49 times 47 now 2,000 squared is going to be 4 million plus 47 times 2,000 is 94,000, plus 49 times 2,000 is 98,000. And finally, 49 times 47 is 2,303. So now, by adding all these up, I get 4,000,000 194,000, because 94,000 plus 98,000 is 194,000, and then I have to add in the 2,303, so now I get 303 at the end.